Hey guys, it is your 48th Objective-C tutorial, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys a cool way to add new methods to a class without changing the code or subclassing. Hmm, pretty cool. Uh, this thing is called Categories, what we're going to be creating. And say for example we have something like this. We have this Numbers class that we created before, and it has some methods in it, set numbers, add the numbers together, print them. But you know, we really need to like subtract two numbers and multiply two numbers. So we want to add some more methods to here. The problem is, I created this class myself and I don't want any of my employees or no one messing with the source code. And I also don't want them to create a subclass from it for uh, technical reasons. So there's a lot easier way to add methods to the same class very easily. So go ahead and I mean we could be doing this in separate files but just for this small demonstration I'm gonna put everything in one file so the first thing that we're gonna to need to do is import the numbers class so import nums dot h I think it was with the z yep and now since we imported it we have access to all the um, instance variables and we just pretty much have general information about that class so whenever we come across an object um, it knows that it came from that class. So here's what we need to do in order to make this thing called a category. And again, a category is a way you can add new methods to that class without changing the class itself. So go back ahead to your uh, main program. And the syntax again is this at interface nums. And after that, in parentheses, put the name of your category. I'm just going to name mine more meth um, it stands for more methods um, not not a drug term that's what you think at least and anyways that is a syntax for it and then go ahead and put at end and in between here this is where you add the pretty much header files for the new methods you want to create so let's go ahead and add two new methods uh, we'll add one that subtracts one number from the other subtract and let's go ahead and put in a probably need to put that like this int a and int b so what this method is going to do is it's going to take a number a and subtract number b from it so 50 minus 30 and return 20 or something printed out on the screen and let's just go ahead and copy that right there copy and let's make one more method just so uh you know why the heck not m u l t and this will multiply a times b so easy enough so the cool thing about putting everything as one file is we already have the interface for this category we can go ahead and add the implementation right under it so go ahead and put at implementation right like that in the class name uh all you have to do is put nums and then your category name right in parentheses pretty much just like uh, what you did for the interface except you put implementation instead of interface so go ahead and put more meth right in there and look it's already started filling out put the methods right here alright we know where to put the methods so let's tighten that up just a wee tidbit copy these right here and we can begin implementing or building the bodies to our methods so for subtract, all we want to do is put something like ns log. We're just going to, you know, print something out on the screen for both the methods. So what do we want to log out? Um, these numbers tracted are, and make sure you spell that wrong, percent i. And for your integer, all you want to do is put a minus b take whatever two numbers they pass in and subtract a second from the first easy enough and just go ahead and copy this because we're going to use it in just a wee tidbit and for your multiplication method just go ahead and paste that in there put these numbers multiplied are a times b so you know really simple methods uh, again the tutorial isn't about building complex methods it's just about showing you categories so check this out. All we did so far is above our main method, we imported numsh because we needed that class information. We built an interface 
for this category and it looked pretty much the same as the interface for a regular class except it had the category in parentheses and also same thing with implementation regular implementation except you have your category in parentheses and take note we didn't affect the source code for the numbers header or implementation file at all this is in a completely different file so now that we have that let's go ahead and begin using this well you'll see nums star n create an object you know this is just like you're creating an object from the numbers class in nums alloc in it so a regular n object and now we can go ahead and begin calling methods n multiply and let's go ahead and put like 6 and 8 I always multiply 6 and 8 together because I know it's 48 I don't know why I remember that but you know no calculator needed thank you thank you so n subtract two numbers let's subtract like a hundred and take like 50 away from it actually 40 I don't like the answers to be one of the parameters as well so once we're done with that I really wish it would stop doing wow that is super annoying release there we go not M N alright so I think we got everything covered and check this out the cool thing about this is you call methods on here in no special way just like they were coming from the interface and implementation files straight from the numbers class it can't tell the difference whether it came from right above it or the numbers class and that's the beauty it's so easy so let's go ahead and build and run this see if we got any errors we need to correct nope and check it out the numbers multiplied are 48 the numbers subtracted are 60 with a bunch of typos definitely necessary so pretty much what I'm trying to st stress is a category lets you add new methods to this numbers class without having to touch any of this code at all and you see we didn't even create a subclass either so we created a new category from the numbers class named more meth that's the category name and again we could have put these in separate files but I mean this is a small example check this out might as well just put it in one big file in case you guys want to go get the source code so uh that's it for this tutorial that's how you use categories pretty simple pretty straightforward so uh yeah if you want this source code I'm gonna go ahead and copy it right now and paste it on my forum link below uh thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later